Hello and welcome to Bar Horror Castle by Farm for 0% Grits Low Turn Count Playthrough, the final castle. So you'd expect this to be a very climactic castle with a lot of strong enemies, and it is in casual play. You have you fight such monsters as Ishtar, the Pegasus Sisters, Manfroy later on, if you're not using the if you're not taking advantage of the Hell Dark Mage, the Weissen Ritter, the Twelve Dark Warlords. Lots of real climactic battles, but I am not going to really be fighting most of them, as you'd expect, because though Shannon could do it, it would take him forever. So first of all, you saw there's something very lucky. Um, for some reason, no, but no, no, none of the units attached to Barhara Castle will move the first turn after Frigia seeds, even if they can do something like put Salas to sleep. So that is very nice, because otherwise I'd be slowed down a turn, or possibly even more, because I need to use Restore. Anyways, now I just make sure to take both Salus and Leaf ahead, have them hide in position so that they aren't in range of either the Weissen Ritter or any of the Sleep Staff users, and that's a very fine line. Shin doesn't actually have to do anything. I don't know why I'm moving him there, but... <laughs> and now, more good old-fashioned RNG abuse. This RNG abuse is so that, um, Fee can put the Dark Mage to sleep. And... I'm not sure what the exact formula is on when a unit is berserked or not, I couldn't find it anywhere online. I think the higher level a unit is, the harder it is to berserk or sleep them, or something, because I know that earlier on in the game, Patty could put people to sleep with really low percent chances, and now it's harder, but... Anyways, burn some RNs, put the Dark Warlord with Hell to sleep. Um, Levin had no idea what he was talking about, Hell is the key to beating Lopt, not Loptusu, not, not Naria. <laughs> Anyways, some RNG abuse did it a bit with the mid because it's faster. Also, Tristan, I don't know. I think he needs to catch a little break sometimes. I wonder when he'll just realize that he just needs to repair that sword. Anyways, the R Anyways, okay, I've, on this phase, there are two things I need to rig for. First is that Layla, I can't have her get killed, though I'm, you know I'm not against sacrificing units by now. She needs to live for later contributions. And secondly, I need to make it so... On a normal playthrough, I could actually save a turn. Well, maybe not, but one of the reasons I lose a turn here off a playthrough with Groats is because the Hellmage will not attack Julius until the second turn. If you put him to sleep... Oh, rip, Faith. If you put him to sleep before you attack him, then, um, before the Hell Mage moves, then he might attack Julius, but unfortunately he will not do that without normally. However, for some reason, the AI will target him, not from the main gate, but from two left of him. They prefer to target him from there for whatever reason. So I need him, needed to also rig it so that the Dark Mage moves such that he was within range of moving to the spot to left of Julius. I didn't have time to explain it yet, but another important thing is Fee, I did not want to bother giving her the return ring, partly because why bother, but also her being sacrificed there is important, because since one unit in the Weissen Ritter is within range of a Tanger, they all move in that direction, which gi which gives Leaf and Celis a little bit of a break, and lets them position themselves slightly further forward. And the point is that Maybe I could set up some ridiculous prayer stuff to blaze through the Weissen Ritter, but I'd have to avoid Ishtar, because there's no real way for me to kill her. I mean, Shannon might, but I don't want to lug him over here. This is... this is Mount Emblem. And for some reason, I leave Shannon there. And for some reason, I leave Shannon there. I don't know. He doesn't need to. Maybe I just felt like having him fight a bit. But yeah. So, this is the last enemy phase. Used a mid because once again it's faster and want to cut down on video length. And now this is really it in terms of strategy. I made so that they can't attack them, it's drawn out. Um, warped Setia over to restore Layla so she can keep on helping, even getting put to sleep. Um, and it's just one rescue. And your, Julius is going to be hit by the Hell Mage on this turn. Then it's a very simple just one final rescue dancer maneuver to get cells within range to javelin <laughs> yeah wow <laughs> base cells with a javelin taking out julius love that minimum one damage mechanic 
oh look, Julius dies. But yeah, as soon as that, then it's just killing him and seizing it, so there's really no strategy left to this playthrough. This is this is it, so <sighs> thank you for watching the playthrough. It's really been fun. This is the last video of actual gameplay. I will do a question and answer and a poem reading later, but this is the last gameplay video. It's been a blast. I've loved planning these strategies. Um, so I will complete the game in 174 turns. That is probably about 20 to 25 slower than the maximum, than the minimum with growths, which is, I feel pretty good. Um, I don't think it can be improved much. Only like a few turns here and there. Last bit of RNG abuse of the playthrough. Now Celis is going to throw a javelin with a 3% hit rate at Julius. Hit him and complete the chapter. Look at it. Look at this. I don't know. I decided to keep the dialogue because I found it kind of funny. Um, don't make me laugh. No warrior Baldo lineage can defeat me. You're going to die. And like, you know, he thinks that even the power... Levin was, is an idiot, clearly, since he got killed and came back to life. He thought that... He thought that even the power of all the Crusaders couldn't take out Julius. Nope. All it takes is base Salus using a javelin. And, yeah the dragon floats up so this is really it thanks for following the play through this whole time this it's been great i've learned to i've learned a lot about the game mechanics and also low turn counting in general and it's been a fun experience and i'm proud to finally finish so this is the final chapter completed in 9 turns, and Farm 4 0% growths completed in 174 turns. Thank you, and I'll see you guys one final time for the question and answer.